Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm going to be painting paint palettes. These things. You might have seen from my Instagram post, I put a little hint so some people might know that we're doing the painting paint palettes. This was suggested to me by a subscriber named Aaliyah. So thank you Aaliyah for suggesting this. Last video I made a poll in the comment section with all different request ideas and painting paint palettes came in number one. Okay, correction, apparently it tied with Squishy Makeover, but I swear at the time I filmed this, it was in first. So, I bought some paint palettes and we're gonna paint them. I am aware that other YouTubers have painted paint palettes before. I know Mariah Elizabeth has done it a couple of times. I know Chloe Rose Art has also done it. And there's one other person I saw that also painted paint palettes. I am just painting the paint palettes because it was a request and because you guys voted on it and you wanted me to do it. So that's what we're doing in this video, guys. Paint the paint palettes, painting paint palettes, painting paint palettes. Say that 10 times fast. What? You won't. Okay, let's paint the paint palettes. <laughs> Let me know if you guys liked the music. I know a lot of people have been requesting me to try to do that, so that was that. Um, you'll notice I'm holding a Q-tip, and that's because I'm trying dot art. I actually had a request on one video, and I can't find it, but someone asked for polka dots, and I know that dot art is a thing. It's like, you, you basically like create symmetrical patterns with dots, so that is why I am using um, a Q-tip to paint. Okay, you'll notice that there was a significant change between the two clips. We had this on the left and that on the right. That is because my camera actually cut out. I don't know what happened. It's not that significant of a change. I really just added those pink dots around the outside and then little pink dots around the white dots and that's pretty much all that changed. I love the pearl pink paint and I actually destroyed that in a second. So I am mixing together right there like a reddish pink and I was trying to create like a layered effect, so when I put that on, I left a little bit of the pink open. A better way to say it is I just had like stripes of pink on the top parts of those circles. You can't really see it from far away, and also because the red is so close in color, but there is a sliver of pink around the rim that is left over. Then I took blue and dotted it around the top parts of the red circles. Um, yeah. And then, my favorite part, I took that pale yellow and dotted it around the bottom parts of those red dots, those red circles. I thought that this balanced everything out really well because you have yellow in the center and it really needed yellow on the outside. And the one thing I would take away from dot art just in general is it's very calming. As long as you're creating symmetrical patterns with the dots, it just, it will come out looking good and it's very calming. <laughs> Okay, except for that. That was not calming. That was the opposite of calming. That was infuriating, actually. <laughs> I did fix it, though. After that tragic mistake, I created yellow lines down the outsides. I thought this looks cool. It's really whatever you think looks cool. As long as it's symmetrical, go at it, you know? Um, so then I put- okay, this looks like fried eggs. I put little yellow dots inside the white dots, and I just- I kept looking at it and being like, wow, that looks like eggs. Then I put yellow dots around the blue parts. Um, those orange dots make this thing look like a peacock. This- like, the blue dot then, too. Like, this thing is just giving me peacock vibes the more I look at it. I don't know if it's the colors or what, but I'm- I'm getting peacock vibes. Then I- put pink in the center. I don't know, I thought pink brought everything more together, and then I balanced that out by adding pink to the outside rim after that. I don't know. I think it looks cool. And then the last thing I did was add the little yellow dots. I was really just trying to balance everything out, all the colors, and I think I did that pretty successfully. 
And this is the final result. I love it. I think it's so mesmerizing. It just looks like a peacock a little, but that's okay. Okay, so moving on to paint palette number two. I first painted a very pale, like pastel yellow. I love this yellow on as a base coat, and I did two coats of that. Yeah, not much more to say about that. Then I took different shades of red. I have like a brighter red, a pastel kind of pinky red, and then a brownish red, maroon, I guess you would call it. And yeah, I don't know if you can tell yet, but I had a request from a subscriber named Yenny, and they requested roses. So these are just the beginnings of the petals, or I guess the buds in the center of the roses. And I'm not quite sure how to tell you how I did this. You can probably watch it and gather more. Basically, I just took three shades of red and tried to make it look like a layered rose. I don't know. I painted in a circle. I made like triangly trapezoid kind of shapes. Not exactly circle shapes, just like trapezoid-like ones. I don't know how to describe it. Just watch it, I guess. I hope you can gather a how-to from that. I don't know. One thing that I really have to say that I love painting paint palettes because... That wasn't a sentence, but I like painting paint palettes because the indentations, they have indentations, which we know, they do have indentations, but it creates an optical illusion. When you look at these roses, they kind of look like they're popping out rather than popping in. And that is pretty cool. That was like my only goal for this paint palette was to try to create that optical illusion. And I'm not an expert at this, I'm really not. So it's not the best it could be. But I think that I did achieve the optical illusion, sort of, at times. When you look at this, it looks like it's popping out. And, yeah, so, okay, here I am painting the leaves. Um, you guys watch me paint these leaves in my mirror painting video. Basically, you just dip half in green, dip half in yellow, and then do a zigzag type of motion. And it creates, like, I don't know, like a leaf that's lighter on the inside and darker on the outside has some nice shading. I like it. When I showed this paint palette to everyone I know, literally everyone I know, they said, wow, it looks like pizza. And it's not a compliment. That's not a compliment considering these are roses, but it does kind of look like pizza. It looks like pepperoni. And the triangles of the leaves are somehow creating like pizza triangles. I don't know. This thing is just giving me pizza vibes. We had peacock vibes and now we have pizza vibes. So then I added like little leaves around the outsides of the roses just to balance the whole thing out. I think it looks cool at the end. It still looks like pizza to me, but I like it. I don't know. I was more going for Beauty and the Beast, but that didn't come across whatsoever. So I don't know. Moving on, we're gonna move on to paint palette. Oh wait, no, I'm showing you both of the two I have so far. So far, I think I like the dots more, but I don't know. What do you guys think so far? So far. That's a hint. Okay, so for this one, this is the third palette. You'll notice that I'm painting things very chunky. I think I'm showing you that here. Yeah, very chunky. And that is on purpose. So for this, I was going for a very textured look. I don't know if you guys have seen those paintings where when you look at them up close, they don't look like anything, but then far away, they look like something. I'm trying to remember what that's called. Is it Impressionism? I don't know. I don't know what it's called, and I don't want to be wrong because I don't like to be wrong. <laughs> but whatever it's called, it looks like something from further away. I had to hair dry it because it was so chunky. So yeah, it's supposed to be chunky. It looks gross up close, but then far away it looks like something. I don't know if you can tell what it's supposed to look like yet, but it's supposed to be a galaxy with planets. I've already done Mercury, and that's Venus. And then I'm moving on to Earth, which is a nice blue color. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love that blue. I don't know why. I just love it. Earth is beautiful. And then we're moving on to Mars, the red planet. Um, and we can't forget the beauty marks that are on Mars. It's got some blackish brown on the bottom parts of it. And then we move on to Jupiter, which is actually not blue, surprisingly. Jupiter is a tan color. Who knew? Um, here I'm showing you that I counted wrong, and I forgot Saturn, ironically, my home planet apparently, because I'm a Capricorn. Uh, but yeah, so I had to add Saturn back in there. And then we got Uranus on that blue, that blue one, and then we have Neptune. 
Oh, okay. So we're going back to Earth. And here's my rant about Earth, guys. Earth is beautiful. And I don't know why it's not everyone's favorite planet. When I was in school, everyone was like, oh, Saturn's my favorite planet. Oh, Mars is my favorite planet. Venus and all the fire ones. And I'm like, really? Earth has humans and animals and water. What about water? It's beautiful. It has white and green and blue. And it's just, we live here. We live here we're sleeping on Earth, you know? Metaphorically and literally, we are sleeping on Earth. It should be everyone's favorite planet. I don't want to hear it anymore. I really don't want to hear it. Okay, we're moving on. So here I, uh, there's only ten, there's ten holes, and I couldn't figure out what to put in the tenth hole. I tried an alien, that horrific thing. Um, it didn't work out. I also had tried an asteroid, and that also didn't work out. So in the meantime, I put a sun in the center of my galaxy. Ugh, wiped that off. Once I got rid of the alien, then I was like, oh, what if I make a fake planet, which was lame and I didn't like at all. So then I was like, oh, why don't I just make it the abyss that space is, just an open space. Which makes much more sense because space has open space. See what I did there? I am banging out the request this video. We had a request from Magic Cookie Girl to include rhinestones in some way. So I took sparkly little rhinestone thingies, I burned my fingers, and I put them in space. You know, what a better place to put them. They're stars, they're in the galaxy, they're shiny, and it was worth it burning my fingers because it looked nice. I mean, this looks really cool, especially from far away. This one's my favorite. So we have that one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Which one is your favorite? The peacock one, which looks nice. I like this one. The pizza one, which I don't enjoy that much just because I don't like I don't like pepperoni, to be honest. And the third one, which is my favorite because it looks chunky. All right, so that is the end of the video. I had actually a lot of fun painting these paint palettes. I did not expect it to be this fun. So we have the polka dot dot art inspired paint palette, which I love. I love this one. I think it looks so cool. And then we have the roses, uh, which kind of look like pizza to me, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> this one's not really my favorite, but I do like it. And then we have my personal fave, the textured galaxy solar system thing with rhinestones on it. I also wanted to tell you guys that in the future, I know I have a lot of requests. I'm thinking of doing every other week with a request. I know that the squishy makeover came in second for the votes in the comments of the last video. So after, the week after this, I'll do a squishy makeover. But next week I'm gonna do just like one of my own ideas, just so we have an alternating thing going on. So I'm gonna hang these paint palettes up over there so they're just in my art studio in the background. I think that looks pretty cool. And that's it for this video, guys. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe if you want to. Otherwise, you don't have to. Don't subscribe. And give this video a like if you liked it. And I will see you guys next video. Bye. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. I forgot. Again, we have the shout outs. So I have my obnoxiously large notebook. And the two shout outs are Sid the Sea Otter and Jellyfun125. Uh, they commented their favorite flower on a video of mine. If you guys would like to get a shout out in my next video, read the description of this video and there will be instructions on what you should do uh, to get a shout out. And I will see you guys next video. Bye. <laughs> For real this time, bye. Bye.